Good morning. Uh, Y'all have asked for more vlogs, and so that is what I am doing today. For the second time this year, I am going to uh, the mall and gonna look around, and uh, hopefully I can get a little bit of eye candy for you. I do have a meal that I plan to share with you if all goes well. I'm just wearing a little white dress today. That blanket is messed up over there. Need to fix that. <laughs> a little white dress from Loft sneakers, Tory Burch, and I have my uh, Rose Ballerine Epi Alma BB. Can you guys believe how expensive these are now? I hate the guitar straps with this particular bag. I am not fond of it, but I need to get going. I'm going to try to beat some traffic. The detail on that. What color is the inside the same? Is this the shadow? Yes. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a Cappy scenes. And this um shadow. That's really pretty. How cute is the little nano? Just for reference on my hand. And just to show you the color difference, this is Rose Ballerine, and I will ask the name of that color when my cells associate comes back out. They're so pretty. This one is really cute. I love this. Flowers. Super cute. Oh, I like the navy. The new trunk piece is in. And we have all this beautiful wine color. Never seen a magnetic. It really does. That is cool. Is it top one? That's, that's a nice contrast. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if y'all remember, but when I was here with this minimalist, I said we were getting a Chanel. It is actually just a makeup store. I'm not sure if they'll let me film or not, but I'm gonna go in here for a minute.
so it was a <laughs> so it was a successful shopping trip and I have to run to the grocery store um, let me show y'all what I got real fast a little Chanel and a Louis Vuitton a little Louis Vuitton Okay y'all, so I have the same veggies that I always have, except for this one is from my garden. And I just bite-sized pieces, squash, zucchini, red peppers, and then I will add the cherry tomatoes on top. This is enough for two meals. Um, tomorrow night I am making sea bass, which I'm not sure if I'll show because we're going out of town the next day. And um, I might just keep it super simple with just olive oil and salt because um, I don't want to have leftover sauce or anything. Y'all know this is my favorite for the vegetables, but of course anything you want. And since we did make that mistake of buying skin on bone in chicken thighs, I have a fabulous, fabulous recipe in the cast iron skillet. This skillet was a wedding gift. It is almost 32 years old. This was before they came um, pre-seasoned. It was like totally unseasoned. Okay, so we've got a package of our chicken thighs. I have the garlic powder, granulated garlic, ranch, seasoned salt, paprika. This is the number one that makes this beer can chicken. This is not hot, it is not spicy. It just adds a ton of flavor. And I have onion powder and I have olive oil. And again, you can switch all of this up. You can put hot sauce in, you can put cayenne pepper, you can do whatever you want and make it as hot as you would like it to be, as spicy as you would like it to be. I do not like spicy or hot foods. So I'm gonna get this in here with some olive oil and get the chicken in there and toss it and then just cover it with some plastic wrap and let it rest for a little while in the fridge. Okay, so there were four pretty good size um, thighs in here. And I'm just going to start with the seasoning and I wanna do both sides really good. And that was the onion, the paprika, whoops, seasoned salt, tongs overboard. <laughs> the one that I think is the most important, the beer can chicken. A lot of that on there, garlic, and just a tiny bit of the ranch. It just gives it a little something. It's not coming out. There we go. <laughs> that was not a tiny bit. Oh well. So flip it over, and we're just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge for, what time is it? about two hours. You don't have to do this first, but I do think that um, just having that little bit of oil in there and having the seasonings on, I'll toss it again after I do this, but I think it just kind of, um, the paprika gives really pretty color, but I think that it just kind of, um, just kind of, kind of marinates, even though there's very little oil that we've added to this. I think it just gives it better flavor. And I have, as I've told y'all, kind of a lazy cook and I like to meal prep early in the day, earlier in the day. I just knocked those tongs over again. So I'm just gonna toss this one more time. Whoa, <laughs> cooking with one hand um, and get this into the fridge to rest for a little bit. So I showed y'all in the last video my garden and we have just been getting tons and tons of these cherry tomatoes. We're using them in tons of stuff. Um, I can find a word besides tons to use, but um, yeah, look how good those look. They're very yummy. <laughs> okay y'all, so I got my cherry tomatoes on the pan. This is some leftover foil that wasn't used on food and that's why it looks so wrinkly, but it was fine to use. I'm going to put these veggies on, get the seasoning going. I'm going to put the chicken with no oil 
into the cast iron skillet skin side down. So I have my upper oven on 425. The chicken will take about 40 minutes, then we're gonna flip it. I have my lower oven on 400 for the vegetables. If you don't have a double oven, I would just do 400 and just put the veggies in about 10 minutes later than the chicken, maybe 15 minutes later. Okay, so you can see the chicken in there, skin side down, which hubby just asked me an interesting question. He said, why skin side down? Because you're basically making fried chicken without the badness of fried chicken. So that skin is gonna get super, super crispy and it's gonna kind of brown a little bit. And then we're gonna flip this chicken over um, after about 40 minutes and brown this top side. So I have all the oil on here and I have the seasoning. I did just salt in this. And I feel so much better about my format because I just watched somebody that has 700,000 subscribers that films the same way I do and never shows anything chopped, just how to actually cook it because we know how to chop and to season things. So I will show you once it comes out of the oven. So I did go out to the garden and I got some of the garlic chives and the Italian flat leaf parsley. I'm gonna chop these up and use these for a garnish at the end. I decided not to make any rice, pasta, grain, anything to go with this tonight because like I told y'all, we're gonna be going out of town and we usually can't finish it. You usually use the rice or whatever for a couple of different meals. And um, so, yeah, we're just gonna keep it simple tonight with protein and veggies. Okay, just in the oven. It smells so good already, just all of those spices and seasonings. Okay, so I think it needs just a little bit more. I want it slightly crispier, so not too much longer on the time, five to 10 minutes, and we'll keep an eye on it, and hubby's gonna pop that in the oven for me. Okay, so we put it back in for five minutes and you can see now both sides are very, very crispy. We're just waiting on the veggies to be done. I did not sink them time-wise as well as I should have, but look at how yummy this chicken looks. All right, y'all, so this is it completed. I have made it with rice in the past, which is really good. Let me cut into this and let's just see how it tastes. Yum. Look at how nice and crispy it is. Yum, yum, yum. All right, y'all, so this is it completed. I have made it with rice in the past, which is really good. Let me cut into this and let's just see how it tastes. Okay, so let's give it a try. Oh, it's so good. It's really crispy. The chicken is very, very tender. I already know how the veggies are gonna be. I've tasted the same veggies for y'all multiple times. Oh, try this one, it's super good. So I do not remember whatsoever I said to you this morning. I have been gone the entire day. I said I'm at the grocery store. I'm starving. It's late. <laughs> I've been gone a long time. Um, I think I am going to insert what I am making for dinner tonight. I do have a fabulous new travel um, bag that I want to share with you, which sad circumstances why I used it so fast. Um, I'm going to try to fit that in this video, but if it's too long, I will put it in a favorites later. Thank you for joining me. I'm hoping to go back. Um, at some point, I missed a lot of stores because I have my hands full. I had a water bottle, all this other stuff, but I hope you have an amazing day today. Take care. Bye-bye.